I was never in the closet, so I never had to come out. You knew, I knew, whoever knew, knew. <laughs> I faced more problems being a black woman than I did as a lesbian. My friends, I assume, accepted me. My family, I never really came out to. I don't know if they knew because it was never anything I wished to discuss. We were very, were and still are very distant. I've had a number of experiences and I realize they were not love affairs. They were just affairs that lasted for an exceptionally long time. However, there was, something was lacking and I think what I think about as a writer and I think about the characters I've created and how loving and supportive they are and I realized that was something, the thing I never got. Things in the 60s and 70s and probably the late 50s, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that historically people went through. Um, you had the determination that homosexuality was a disease, the lavender scare, which kept a lot of people from working, the raids that went on just because someone would decide, okay, it's time to go raid this place. There was a guy um, I heard who got arrested, jumped out a window and was impaled on the spikes down below. He lived, but the point is he, had to, he was going through that because he was so afraid of being caught in a gay bar. I think the big thing is we need to be careful of not taking the things, the rights won for granted. I go to SAGE and we know that there are a lot of people who come there who are LGBTQ, but they don't say anything. And I think my first, my feeling about it is it hurts the people behind us because I think the young people, younger people need to know the struggles that were fought so that they could have the freedoms they have.